India would not have been partitioned if Subhash Bose was there. Jinnah said, I can accept only one leader, that is Subhash Bose. The idea that came to his mind, I'll fight the British. I will not beg for freedom. idea that came to his mind, I'll fight the British. I will not beg for freedom. It is my right. I have to get it. And if I beg for it, it will be conditional, it will have something. India would not have been partitioned if Subhash Bose was there. Jinnah said, I can accept only one leader. That is Subhash Bose. His leadership was of a different style. There was a doctrine which even Churchill used to say that, well, India is like equator. Everybody knows in the map where it is, but nobody knows on the ground where it is. So if you walk over the equator, you don't know that you're walking over the equator. He says there's nothing as India. India is a, is a, is a, a very... Um, uh, ill-defined, Ill it's, it's, it's a concept. There are states and there are communities and there are religions and there are ethnicities and others and that which is what we call it as an Indian. He said, no, India was a reality. India is a reality and India will be a reality. Netaji said, I will not compromise for anything less than full independence and freedom. People in 1928 and others just started talking about dominant status. People about the states having the elections and you are given some uh, delegated powers and others to the people of India. He said it will be total. I want this to free this country not only from the political subjugation, but their political, social, economic, cultural mindset of the people have got to be changed. They should feel like free birds in the sky. Which Gandhiji thought in his wisdom and maybe it is that, probably that is very impractical, it cannot be done. He felt and he thought that, well, we can do it.